Welcome back to Exotic Industries. Now we need to make sure that this copper smeltery setup actually is completed. And for that I will need more inserters and more underground pipes, so let's fetch some of those without getting hit by a train. There it goes. So I'm not sure where exactly I will go now. Probably through here and then I will be able to get underground pipes. Three stacks and then I see that my inventory is quite full. I guess I will have to lose a few things somewhere. But also some of these items I can probably store somewhere. Could throw copper ingots somewhere. For instance, and maybe I can also lose solid fuel or steam engines somewhere. They are produced here, so I can just throw them into their production facilities. Okay, a few more spaces open. And now I want to fetch actual inserters. I guess I can just drive all around this part of the factory. Also, I want to look at the electricity setup again, just to make sure that the accumulators are now doing enough. I think they are still not doing enough. The steam engines are still turned on at night. But I can do something about that soon. I guess I can just fetch these faster inserters. And maybe just give up using the yellow version. Also, I could make the new kind of belts. I wonder if anything here uses plastic. I guess the accumulators. Then I can get rid of that. I guess I'm still lacking copper because I didn't yet install the new copper factory. So that is something that I first need to fix. It's up here. So now I need to remember what there is still to be done. There are these drills with their drill fluid. And I need to install water as well as the dirty water pipe. Okay, one part of the connection is done. Now I hope I can see other pipes of this sort. I would say it's this. Yes, it's this. And I need to also connect this dirty water to some place where the dirty water is actually treated, maybe to make landfill. Uh, 
I might of course also just install another storage tank or two. Just as a temporary measure to get this started. Okay, um, yeah, this puts out the copper ore as we usually know it. Not sure if this one belt will be uh, not enough. I might as well just do it like that and also fill the other side. And then this will go somewhere where it can get smelted. I guess uh, that's what I will need arc furnaces for. I do have arc furnaces, but I will do that on another level, just in case I need more of these machines later. And I guess this will just smelt the pure copper. That's what it's called. Guess I will need more than one power pole there. And it's smelted quite quickly. Just need to put that in some kind of tank. And then I need casters. I guess this would be fine. Not sure how fast this will be producing and how many belts I might need. For now I will just do it like this. Okay, we have new copper ingots. Now I just need to get them where they are needed. I guess I'm somewhat above where the copper ingots are also produced, but I still need to get a bit further. Oops. It's good that I didn't just walk over there. I hope you will never see me die here. Because of some silly mistake like not looking at the rail track. So now I'm not sure if I need to maybe avoid going into this. And I might just block this off. Or I might go parallel to it and basically have a second input to somewhere. Let's see. can uh, go around there. This looks a bit weird, but it will work. And now there should be more 
copper ingots on this belt. Going all the way through there. And eventually I will have to upgrade the belts to red belts. But for that I would first have to craft those. And I guess the belt can still carry more copper ingots, so I will see what I can do about that now. Possibly more casters? Can I make more casters just now? I need steel beams, so that's something to go back for. Not sure if there's anything else I might have to do right here, right now. Steel beams. Caster. I really can't distinguish these machines. And no more steel mechanical parts. They might be somewhere over there. I guess I will take the car. Otherwise I will have to also walk back. At least there are enough steel mechanical parts at the moment. Okay, now we have four more casters. And I would like to already pretend to do something. This is just temporary. I'm also thinking about building loaders. So this is basically my reminder section to tell myself that I need to build certain things. Sadly it's not yet possible, but it will be possible in 2.0 to just make ghosts somewhere and change the recipe within the ghosts. I'm always driving a bit too far west and not enough north. Not yet familiar with this factory up here. It's quite new. I think the amount of inserters is okay. Let's just do this and then... I can't flip it. I don't know why. I mean, there shouldn't be any symmetries in this. It's a bit weird. Can I maybe at least do this? Sadly I still have no robots. Maybe robots are also something to build. And that would speed up my processes. At least if the robots are not so slow that I have to wait for them all the time. That also happens sometimes. Okay, and this will then just be merged with the other 
copper ingot belt and then I should have enough input at least. And probably this will not fill up further. I want to see how many iron casters I have. I guess also just eight. And they work in a different way, but that's fine. And I probably have enough iron ingots there, and they might even be able to do two full yellow belts. They go in different directions. Maybe this doesn't even need a full yellow belt. But yeah, this is already totally filled up. I guess this will self-regulate at some point. Now I want to go back to the east of the bus and maybe build one of these or a few of these things that I already planned out there. Maybe also construction robots. And I might also think about building something up there. I might try to build construction robots up there because there are already these robot frames. Power armor has been, or the modular armor has been researched. It's a good thing. I need two heavy armor. Let's possibly make some of those. I need iron plates. I wonder if I should just make the one that's uh, been made now. Not sure how much inventory space I get. I guess the heavy armor that I'm wearing right now doesn't give me anything. Now I will just build the modular armor from that. But I can't yet put anything in there. Not sure if the heavy armor and the modular armor or which of them is better, I'm not sure. I guess the modular armor does have more resistances. I thought maybe it was uh, not superior and only superior if you actually added some modules. But that's not the case. So I think I wanted to build crushers. And this will be done later, this bulk inserter, or whatever it's called. So there are a few things that I need to bring over. And I will always forget what these things are. I can take the green circuits from here. And I can move these buildings over for now. So this would be possibly electric engine unit. Don't think there's any close by. And those are steel beams, not iron beams, so I can't take those. Yeah, I guess I will actually have to fetch them properly from the bus. So which of the things here are needed? I guess these electric engine units. And I can just take them... From here, a 
This will look a bit weird, but it will get the job done. And then steel, no, iron beams and copper mechanical parts. Copper mechanical parts and iron beams are both there. Both of them have uh, or are lying on the north side, which is quite helpful. Okay, let's do one of the things. And then let's do the other. This will be a bit weird. I guess I will take both just combined already. This will not take up too much space from the other bus lanes. I will just also complete this. And maybe also this can continue, so... I see what's on those belts. And I'm not even sure if I need this iron. I think it's just crushed iron ore. Or crushed iron. So maybe I will still need it in this dinitrogen tetroxide gas. But that might be the only thing. And I think I would even do that on the bus to force myself not to have a separate uh, fluid build or fluid factory in the west. Not everything needs to be there. And I guess once I, do, uh, once I build this nitrogen thing I can get rid of this iron mix. Okay, now I'm out of belts with this. I guess I will just fetch belts. Okay, let's actually drive back. And this chest shall be limited. And now we have automated the production of crushers. That's nice and that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching.